I paint a lot of local scenes and uh, some Park City paintings, a lot of Salt Lake stuff featured here, of course, and uh, all original oil paintings on canvas. And have some little, some small original oil paintings that I painted on canvas paper this year. Um, you know, I'm just inspired by my surroundings and always have been. And uh, it's a beautiful place, and there's a lot of diversity in the state, and I just love to capture it. www.aaronmemet.com. Um, I'm also represented by Gallery Mar in Park, Park City, Utah, and 15th Street Gallery in Salt Lake, and Ann Jesperson Fine Art in Helper, Utah, where I live. This piece started this whole regimen of paintings. It's titled, Act Normal, Here Comes God. Just like if you were in the basement, you heard your parents coming down the stairs, you heard him tidy up and get normal. This is, society is what it is. Nothing specific, just fun. It led to, like you say, everything you see in here. There's continuity with portals. I love painting eyeballs, birds, any type of animal. I did a whole series where I painted a uh, women from around the planet and they're incorporated in octopus, koi fish, almost everything. I just let my brain tell my hand what to do and I smile the whole time. It's a surreal experience. Statute of limitations has expired, so I used to paint train, uh, graffiti on trains when I was much, much, much younger, or found objects. The majority of these have spray paint on the background and oil paint on top. So I've taken the street art aspect and I've taken the refined fine art aspect and have collided the two and that's what the medium produces. No training, just taught myself in the basement and my kids enjoy it, my wife enjoys it, some people buy it and laugh at it and I get offended by nobody. You can look up Daryl Driver on the internet. There's a Daryl Driver, or there's a NASCAR driver named Daryl. That's not me. There's Daryl Driver the artist, that one's me. But just type in Daryl Driver and you'll find all my stuff. Okay, I'm a, I've been a professional artist since 1973 when I graduated from Utah State University. Graduated with a degree in illustration and worked for 20 years as an illustrator and graphic designer doing commercial type artwork. Last 24, 25 years, I've just been doing fine art for a living. Paint what I want to paint and hope people want to buy it. I paint landscapes of the American West for the most part. I travel as far east as uh, Texas and Oklahoma. Find me on Instagram at uh, Darrell B. Thomas. It's D A R R E L L B is in boy, T H O M A S. I call it contemporary still life, almost like deconstructing realism. I, I like to do my own setups. I'm very color oriented and I want my pieces to uh, evoke more of an emotion than actually be something that is like, oh cool, it's a pear or it's a bird. I want it to really be almost like mood pieces. Uh, Rothko is a big inspiration of mine and just the impact that his color fields have. So I try to kind of um, create some kind of an emotional impact through color with my still lifes. We'll see what I do in the future. But right now I, I really love birds and I really love um, just the idea of painting objects that are really fleeting and normal and things that are really easy to pass by. And that, yeah, that we consume and just almost, I don't know, just almost like taking a little bit of a pause and looking at a, a slice of a lemon and saying, oh wow, that's really beautiful. Uh, just my website, leslieducart.com. I'm also uh, up at Meyer Gallery in Park City, so you can see my work there. Well, this would fall under the term mixed media. It's my own process of 35 years that begins with an acrylic painting on wood. There's no glass, even though it's very shiny. And I use uh, different materials uh, in addition to acrylic paints like gold and silver leaf, uh, sometimes glitter, opalescent powders with a clear resin finish. I just love how it brings out color and depth in a really um, uh, vibrant manner. Well, I have followed my real deep passion of trees. I have a love of nature and most of my trees are aspen inspired. I love the, um, the fact that they are connected at the root base. I find that very philosophical as we're all connected as human beings. And they're also just beautiful trees, so I paint a lot of aspen. They can go to my website at www.saint-thomasart.com.